Hello guys and uh, welcome back to another video of uh, Euro Truck Simulator. Now we are in uh, south of France and we will explore the uh, city of Bayonne that uh, will probably be uh, an entry point or close to an entry point to the new upcoming DLC of truck simulator Iberia that will contain Spain and Portugal uh, unlike the other uh, video now we have a brand new truck and uh, it is brand new because uh, SC has just released it and um, yeah looks amazing and we have the Spanish flag baby we are ready for the new DLC, which uh, will come uh, in a few hours. Now, uh, let's get going. We'll uh, uh, describe you more what this video is about uh, while we start. So I already have here delivery, but I think I'll choose the other one. Has a bit more weight. And uh, yeah, let's take the job. Uh, before we go, let's, uh, let's take the trailer first. have to uh, get a bit used with this truck it's actually first time uh, driving it so bear with me sound on this truck it's amazing sounds very very Not really that good. One more time. Yes. Now we're good to go. Let's check our map. I would rather go through here because this is Bayonne this will be uh, an entry point close to an entry point to to Spain so I'd like to go through this okay. um, another uh, possible route would be from Montpellier to Barcelona which is somewhere here or from I on to Santander but receive is on north of Spain but uh, we'll see when uh, time comes Interior, it's not the standard one, it's the exclusive interior. Um, I think it looks very slick. I manage, uh, I allow myself to add a couple of items like that uh, vampire or the astronaut. It's 
So yeah, couple of hours left uh, until uh, the new DLC will be unlocked. And, uh, I can tell you, we've been uh, waiting for this for a very long time. Uh, finally here. Now, uh, bear in mind this is uh, an, not an Iberia DLC video, since uh, nobody has access to it yet, or only chosen uh, YouTubers have. Um, so far, this uh, truck, it's, I, I would say it's way louder than uh, what we've seen in, uh, uh, for example, in Scania. Man. Um, the force feedback on it is uh, uh, way uh, like significantly uh, increased. Uh, today I just finished uh, recording uh, the last uh, trip on, uh, on uh, how it's called the uh, road to the Black Sea. If you haven't seen that, uh, it's uh, there should be a link somewhere. Uh, here, uh, 34 uh, videos. That was my first playlist on uh, or my, my, my first uh, video series uh, here on YouTube, uh, and I learned a lot lot from it how to there, there were a lot of mistakes that I made and uh, I learned a lot from it so um, if you watch that one uh, I will try to not uh, make the same mistakes. I know uh, there were quite a lot of time between videos and uh... yeah will uh, definitely be different this, this time. I'll try to record in the first place as much as uh, as possible and then take it from there unlike uh, uh, Turkey here in France we have a, a, a very wide uh, Toll booths, or or we pay for the highways. Uh, if you've seen my last video, uh, you noticed uh, how tight they're modeled uh, in there. This truck has uh, not the standard uh, engine, but it has uh, an upgrade. Uh, has 400, 540 horsepower. I hope it will uh, be enough for uh, our uh, trip in Spain. I know there should be uh, some mountains, there should be some 
uphill uh, sections and I can see this is not like the, the fastest truck, uh, the, the most powerful truck in uh, this game. say it's hard to compare with the uh, Volvo or Scania they, they tend to be a bit more powerful but, uh, maybe this was not the intention of the developers or the manufacturer of this truck to, to make it like a, the Ferrari of uh, trucks but Affordable truck. An affordable truck for real life uh, businesses might take advantage of. We paid uh, 25 uh, euros. Now we are good to go. I think the the, the, the the Spanish flag we have on uh, our left uh, door, top of our left door, I think it's a very nice uh, add-on. Uh, makes uh, things a bit uh, interesting, but when I, I look in the mirror I can, I can see that it's something it's waving there might be sometimes a bit disturbing but uh, we'll see we'll see we can easily take it off uh, uh, I chose uh, mainly this truck or because it's made in France uh, where we are at the moment and where we will uh, most likely start our journey Actually, where uh, will be the start point for this series, uh, I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, let me know in the comments if, uh, where, where we should start first. Should we start from uh, Bayonne? Should we start from Montpellier? Or just uh, start from a city in Spain? See, well, one thing that I was not aware of is that, um, now, as you can see, we have two GPS systems. And it's uh, mobile, and the other one it's uh, like built-in uh, GPS. I have to admit, I quite like the the, the mobile one. It's uh, it's like long rather than wide, so I can see. The route uh, more ahead. Uh, soon we should uh, maybe arrive on our uh, first waypoint. The reason is that why I'm also unlocking that uh, that road is because uh, we might not get uh, a delivery from uh, Bayern, but from this uh, uh, close, uh, close town, which I somehow forgot. How is it called? <laughs> but we'll see when we get there.
course, um, these videos are not meant, so you watch 100% uh, of it. Feel free to to skip uh, uh, parts of it. Uh, it's understandable if they are maybe not the most entertaining because. Uh, the most interesting part of this is uh, uh, me as a player uh, is uh, all of it but uh, maybe for some of uh, the viewers are in the parking uh, uh, section or attaching the trailer or even though the Sometimes those are not interesting and just the uh, middle part where uh, we enjoy a uh, relaxing uh, scenery. Those might be interesting. Um, I know at one point there was an update on this uh, because right now we are in Vive La France uh, DLC and I know it was an update where they remodeled some of it and uh, also they added uh, these uh, new cities uh, but I'm not sure uh, why we didn't uh, why I didn't unlock them also Corsica it's uh, it was uh, added to the to the sim we have 246 kilometers yes let, let's get rid of this uh, I think here there are more uh, the map is not. Uh, I know, for example, in uh, Road to the Black Sea, it was uh, more. Uh, it, w it was faster to to deliver there. The trips were uh, significantly shorter. But in this case, even though we are close to. the other city still uh, takes a lot of time to uh, it seems the delivery seems longer that's what I'm uh, that's what I meant Uh, yeah, I have to admit, it seems uh, that it's a bit slower. Uh, doesn't have that much torque. It sounds very good and I think the, the interior is very well done. Say they paid attention to the details, but will come with an option to have and a more powerful engine. I know Re Renault decided to will release this truck soon, uh, but uh, they offered uh, to have it first in the simulator, which uh, it is a bit unusual. I know in an American truck simulator was all almost the same story with the uh, uh, Mac Anthem when uh, they released the uh, truck it was a big event also in scene community
that's uh, again 183 kilometers. We will uh, soon be uh, arriving in. Uh, uh, I cannot really pronounce that word. Either it's missing some uh, letters or la Lask. I will uh, document myself uh, a bit later. One interesting thing is that, uh, which I was also confused a bit earlier, is the the mobile uh, navigation seems like it's the, the the waypoint on it. It shows way too earlier, unlike on the the navigation, the trucks navigation, where it is. Uh, It shows there when you're getting close to it. And now we'll uh, we'll see. Maybe we don't really have to get uh, out of the the highway to make that city available for a future uh, uh, or uh, future deliveries. It's a very nice area. Say I, I really, really love it. Uh, highways are amazing, and yes, we will have to make a small detour. Can we do it with cruise control? Easily. I think there should be some settings for the mirrors because uh, right now I notice the uh, the details, the graphical details. The mirrors are not exactly that good. I'm playing at the moment. 60, 58, 59 frames per second, but uh, the quality of the the mirror is not really that good. I'm not sure if this is related to that truck or if it's uh, just yeah some settings. discover the city now uh, and turn around and uh, continue our journey to to Bayonne kilometers so maybe we are uh, halfway done the, uh, this delivery yes
also wondering, maybe I should also play it with uh, manual gear. In modern trucks in Europe right now with manual gear, they're not that common, I would say. Of course, there are some uh, some companies that deliver heavy stuff. Uh, Pretty sure this uh, truck in real life might have like a, also a semi-automatic uh, gear box that will uh, help you control the speed while going uh, uphill. That's the control is controlling the the torque. We'll uh, we'll see that and. Right now I have my uh, uh, gear uh, buttons, upshift and downshift on uh, from the steering wheel. Uh, they're set up to use the uh, the blinkers left to right. It's, uh, I know it's a very weird solution, but that's how. The best I could uh, come uh, come up with. I know from uh, experience, south of France doesn't really look that green. It looks a bit brighter here uh, in the sea. It seems very very green. I don't know, maybe it will be a mod or something to... If I can join this automatic... Yes, great. A lot of people will try to sneak in from uh, left or right, like, see that car? Very normal, very normal, I've seen it uh, many times. We have 21 kilometers. We are, uh, we are close by, we are close to our uh, destination. Soon we will leave uh, the highway. Covered by on. Getting a bit smaller. I can. Okay, also on the other side, the uh, drivers are uh, to the left side, their right side. Yeah. 
say in uh, real life I would have uh, uh, gotten a lot of hate for <laughs> stopping in the middle of the roundabout and uh, check uh, <laughs> the map. I would uh, have not been appreciated, if I can call it that way. be somewhere here, yes, I can see the entrance. And also see our designated parking spot. Now let's see. Got some uh, handling uh, Difficulties when I try to touch. Let's see how it's going. Too shabby. In front, or yes. So thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next uh, episode, which will probably be the area DLC. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, goodbye.